Hey guys, this is Seed Qureshi and I'm coming at you guys with my very first video blog. Uh, now I've never made a video blog before so I thought I'd give it a try after a couple of people recommended the idea to me. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of known for making blogs that are a bit more like, long-winded and kind of philosophical and stuff like that. But I wanted to give it a try to make something that was a bit more personal. Uh, that's kind of just about my life and, and what I'm doing and me living. Uh, so, so yeah, uh, I guess I just got here actually about a week ago. I drove from Austin, Texas to Las Vegas, Nevada. Actually, I drove to Salt Lake City first, which is like a two and a half day drive, and then I drove to Salt Lake, or, sorry, drove from Salt Lake City to Vegas uh, after visiting a friend for a couple days. So I've <laughs> done a lot of driving the last week. Uh, but I'm finally here, and I'm going to be here with Jungle Man until the end of the World Series, so like two and a half months in Vegas. Uh, <laughs> and I'll say this, that Vegas is one of those places that uh, it's, it's pretty good for about a week, and then after that it gets really monotonous and kind of repetitive, but it's still good. Uh, and luckily, you know, all the people in the poker world are coming out for the World Series, uh, so it's kind of a, it, you know, it's kind of like the, the poker mecca for about a couple of months, which is really cool. And I get, I get to meet a lot of people who I've never met before, who are part of the online poker world, and uh, I'm kind of excited about that. And of course, playing in some events, and my very first World Series, because I just turned 21. Um, so it's kind of, uh, it's, it's definitely an adventure, and I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Now, unfortunately, I haven't played much live, so the very first, uh, actually in the coming week, I'm gonna try to get my chops uh, playing some live games, probably not too high, uh, just some, you know, NL cash games where I can find them, uh, to try to get myself ready for some of the tournament events. But, um, yeah, it's actually, well, <laughs> to say the least, it's been an interesting last couple of months. Uh, now, of course, everybody knows about Black Friday and everybody's kind of in their own little tizzy related to what happened. Um, and obviously it affected me too, it affected just about everybody I know who's in the poker world. But, actually one thing that I, I think I wanted to touch on in this, in this first video blog is... Uh, how to find a way, I guess, to see the positivity in what seems like a really negative and shitty thing to happen to the world. Now, I know more than anybody else, like, how shitty it can be when things don't go your way, when things get turned on your head. And as poker players, we deal with that, like, everywhere, you know. Running bad is ubiquitous to poker, everybody's gone through it, everybody knows kind of how to deal with it. Uh, but when something like this happens, something like Black Friday, where essentially the rug is pulled out under you, it's, like the way I see it, it's, it's kind of like, it's a different kind of tilt, it's a different kind of like loss, a different kind of tilt that you feel, a different kind of emotional pain from it than just like losing money. Because at least when you lose money, you kind of have that, you have that system still in place. You've still got a bankroll, you still know how you're gonna win it back, you've got your money online, you know, everything's gonna be okay, you'll get to the long run, right? When something like this happens, it's almost like busting your entire account or losing your entire bankroll, you lose the system, right? The system isn't there to, to tell you, well, it's all right, you know, you, you lost some ground, but you can still, you still know how to climb the mountain, right? Uh, but now, with Black Friday, I think a lot of people perceive it as a situation where, because the rug is pulled out, they, have, they don't know how to, how to feel okay about it, how to still have a sense of strength and a sense of motion, a sense of like, all right, I'm, I'm still a very good poker player. I'm still able to make money. There's still lots of opportunities all over the world for me to for me to really have success and freedom and money and enjoy my life. But lots of people are, are because they lose that stability. I think that's the reason why it's so so hard for people to feel positive about it. And I've talked to tons of people about Black Friday, and it's it's almost universal the the negativity people feel. Very few people are in. A, uh, an optimistic mindset. Uh, well, people who play poker. Right? I mean, there are certain people who are kind of in a position where they have to be optimistic because they represent a site or the, whatever other bullshit. But people who really depend on poker, it's it's hard to remain positive. But I actually think I'm somebody who hasn't been able to remain positive. And the reason why is 
because I see Black Friday as kind of a calling, a challenge, like an adventure. Black Friday basically says online poker is done in the U.S. U.S. players can't play online poker anymore. So what does that mean if you're an online poker player? What do you have to do? You either, one, you start playing live games, start traveling the tournament circuit, start doing your thing, or you pack up, you go to another country and you start over. And you approach it from in a completely different way. You know, you start a new adventure, basically. You close a chapter in your life and you start a new one. And that can be pretty scary, and that can be pretty daunting, and it can seem like a hard thing to be like, all right, I got displaced. How do I not feel angry about that? How do I not feel shitty about that? But to me, it's, it's exciting. It's actually really awesome that now, even at this young age, you know, being 21 years old, I get to basically go anywhere I want in the world because I have to. I'm, I'm forced to go on an adventure now. And I'm forced to reclaim what I thought was comfortably mine, which is a position in online poker, a position in being able to make money, being able to be successful, all that stuff. It's really a challenge. It's a challenge to say, all right, you know, you had it easy, you were making money online, hand over fist, but now you gotta step it up. Now you gotta really prove that you deserved all this stuff. Now you gotta really prove that you are man enough, which sounds kind of cliche, I know, but that you're man enough to step up to the plate and say, all right, this is my new challenge, and I'm gonna take it. So, to me, at the very least, Black Friday is, at the very least, interesting. And um, I'm excited to see what my next, you know, six months to a year is going to turn out to be. Now, I don't know when, when online poker is going to become uh, legalized or regulated in the U.S., and I hope it will be fairly soon, but ultimately no one knows. So, uh, I mean, actually, Jungle and I have... Uh, We've, we've looked at many different options and places to move outside the U.S. We've considered going to Europe, uh, we've considered going to, to Eastern Europe, to Asia, and I think right now we're actually very interested in going to Brazil, but um, obviously nothing's final and we still, it's, it's, it's kind of actually fun to talk to a bunch of people and see about where do you think is the coolest place in the world for two 21-year-old guys to live. And it's actually, it is really exciting, and, uh, and I try, I try to maintain that mindset wherever I go, rather than be admired in all the things that could be, the way that things should be easier. But accept things as they are, and try to make the best of them, is, is, is my life philosophy, I guess. Anyway, so I'm, I'm actually going to try to make some more video blogs, but um, if, if this is popular, that is. So you guys who, who read my blogs or who keep up with me, uh, if you could comment on this video or comment on my blog and let me know uh, what you guys thought of this format or any suggestions you might have. Uh, I really appreciate that, and of course I read over everything. Um, but yeah, uh, thanks for watching, I guess. And I'll try to make some more uh, throughout the series, and I'm sure I'll meet plenty of interesting people and go on plenty of interesting adventures while I'm here. Uh, but thanks for watching, and uh, if you guys are here in Vegas, good luck, and I'd love to meet you guys if you're out here. Otherwise, uh, Godspeed, wherever it is you are.